Good day, mabuhay, and blessed be God forever. I am Mika Isabel A. Carballo, a grade 12 STEM student from Mindanao State University General Santos City Senior High School, and this is the final requirement for our MIL subject or Media and Information Literacy subject under the supervision of Ms. Irene Bernadas. Before anything else, let me introduce to you the subject itself. Media and Information Literacy, or MIL, is a subject or course that introduces to learners to the basic understanding of media and information as channels of communication and tools for the development of individuals and society. Furthermore, it aims to develop students to be creative, become critical thinkers, and also become responsible users and competent producers of media and information. From here, I will be showing you the projects that I have managed to make with the applications of the learnings I've gathered from the subject. The Timeline of Exposure to Traditional or New Media This is a timeline I've crafted to present the different kinds of media I've encountered or I've been exposed to in the entirety of my life. Along with this, I've also included my personal insights about the different ages that have come and go. I had fun experimenting with how should I present the project, that's why I'm looking forward to making a project like this again in the future. Social Campaign Infographic This is an infographic that tackles the four-factor test in quantifying or determining whether fair use is observed in a particular use. Specifically, it is a project on legal, ethical, and societal issues in media and information. Designed Wearable Technology This is the wearable technology I have designed with the vision of helping the agriculture sector in the country under the topic on current and future trends in media and information. I had to do the design manually and by drawing due to the fact that I do not know how to customize wearables digitally. The process of creating this project was memorable, and it reminded me of how we brainstormed and did our applied science research experimentation due to the similarities. Comic Strip This is the comic strip I have crafted with the application of my learnings of the topics visual and text information and media. It was my first time to create a digital comic strip as I was used to making the traditional one. Moreover, I have created this project to give light to the significance of wearing face shields during this pandemic and I think I have succeeded in doing so. Despite the technological advancements the humanity have already attained, there is still a significant population of Filipinos in the country that are not able to maximize the use of media and information to their own advantage. Due to perhaps the lack of opportunity to learn, there are still more to be improved when it comes to media and information usage. In order to somehow make a change in the current landscape of things here in the Philippines, it was indeed a privilege to be able to take this subject and learn about how media and information affect how individuals work in an ever-complex society. And I would like to share the knowledge I have learned from the subject to others so they too can educate the rest about the significance of media and information literacy in the various aspects of our lives. If I were to pick my most favorite topic in the subject, I would say it's the media and information sources. While all of the topics in the subject are really interesting, this one really did hit close to home. It is such an important topic to apply in our daily lives now that information can be easily found everywhere. After all, the quality of information matters more than the amount of how abundant this information are in various media sources. Again, I'm Mika Isabel A. Carballo, and this is the final requirement for the Media and Information Literacy subject. I hope you learned something and have a nice day! Bye!